Hi everybody, welcome to the Pretty Life Girls. Today we are making DIY flower hair clips. My name is Sam and we're so excited today to be teaming up with Sculpey to share this tutorial for DIY flower hair clips using oven baked clay. We're not gonna be using any fancy tools for this project so you can get the floral patterns with things you have around your house, making it super easy and doable for anybody. Before we jump into the tutorial though, please let us know in the comments if there are other projects or tutorials or crafts that you would like to see here on our channel. We always love suggestions, so make sure and share those ideas in the comments. But for now, let's go ahead and get started on these hair clips. Okay, to make these clips, you will need your clay. We are using this pack of Primo and Souffle Sculpey. We love this pack because it gives you a good variety of colors, a good variety of different finishes to work with. The souffle is what we'll use today and it is nice and soft. It's great for beginner projects and has a really nice soft finish. Both of these kinds of clay only dry out when they're baked. So they're easy to store when you're done with them and they won't dry out, which is great. We also have our alligator hair clips that we'll attach them to. I have a flower shaped cookie cutter, but we'll show you a way to make flowers without a cookie cutter in case you don't have one. A rolling pin, and then we have a couple different blades. This is a clay knife, but you can also use an X-Acto knife. So first we're gonna pull out our clay. Okay, so we're doing a daisy pattern on ours, so we'll need white and yellow for the flower, and then you can pick whatever color you want for the background. I think I'm gonna do, oh, these are all so cute. Maybe this, it's like a, a dusty blue. It's really pretty. Okay. And I'm gonna start with opening these ones. I'm gonna work on this baking mat just so that I don't have to transfer it after. So we're gonna start making a, a floral patterned hair barrette. So it's gonna be a colored base, our blue here, and it's gonna have little daisies speckled throughout. So I'm gonna show you how to make these little daisies. You can use this same process for the other flowers we're gonna make, flower clips we're gonna make, if you don't have a cookie cutter. So this is a fun way to make flowers without needing anything fancy. So I'm just softening this clay up a bit and then I'm gonna divide it. You only need like a pea size and I'm gonna do five different balls. set this aside. Okay, and what I'm gonna do with one of them is I'm gonna roll it out like a snake. And I want it to get pretty skinny. I can tell I have more than I need, so I'm just gonna rip some of this off and keep rolling, rolling, rolling until I get it the size that I want. And what I want is for the diameter of it this way to be the si about the size of a petal that I want on my, my daisy pattern. So that's one, and I'm gonna do it with the rest of these. So I have all five of these. Now I want to do a yellow for the middle. Okay, now I'm gonna stack it into a roll to make the flower shape. So I'm gonna put two right by each other and I'm gonna sit the yellow on top of those two and just like lightly press them so that they stay in place. I'm gonna put 
this one up kind of on the side, this one on the other side, and just like gently press it so they stick, but you don't want to change the shape. And then put this last one on top. So you can kind of see that it's the yellow inside and then it's surrounded by white. I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna cut off the edges. And when you cut off the edges, you'll be able to see the flower shape in there. And then I'm gonna roll it just a tiny bit to round it out. Every time you cut it, you're gonna see that it's gonna smash it a little bit. And so I always just keep turning it and I find that this blade works really well too. So I'm gonna just start slicing through it. And I'll show you these little tiny daisies. And if you want to kind of squish it to make it a little more round, you can. You can see that little tiny daisy. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll it a little bit so I'm not cutting on the same spot so that it keeps flattening. And I'm gonna do a few more. Okay, so now we're gonna take our base color, break off some of it, and start softening it. Something I do love about this Sculpey Souffle is it is so soft that you don't have to work it too hard before it's soft enough to be ready to roll out. Okay. Now I'm gonna roll this out into a sheet. If you have a clay roller, you can use that, but we're just gonna roll ours out with this little roller to the thickness that you want. Okay, once you get to this point, you're ready to add your daisies. So you can just sit them on, scatter them all over. Then you're gonna take your roller again and roll it over just softly. I like them to still pop out a little bit because I think it's cute, but you can see that it's pressed into it. And then at this point, you can cut it into your barrette shape. You can use a cookie cutter if you have something that will work. You can use a template, a paper template, and cut it out that way. Or if you have something like this, you can just kind of freehand a rectangle. I'm going to use this. and then remove the excess. And that is our first clip. So that's super easy. Then we'll put this in the oven, but first let's make our second style. So I'm gonna take more blue. This one is gonna have three bigger flowers. I'm gonna just shift this. This one could not be easier, especially if you have a cookie cutter, which I just got this one at the craft store, it was even on clearance. But if you don't have it, you can do this method of making flowers and just do bigger rolls. So I'm just gonna roll this out to the thickness that I want. Whoops. And then I'm gonna cut. I don't like wasting clay if I can avoid it. So I'm just gonna do two and then roll out this last piece and see if we can get the one more flower out of it. Okay, 
Okay, so we've got our three flowers here. And then we're gonna just make the centers of these flowers. Take a little bit of yellow, roll it out. And then I just found something that was the circle size I wanted around my house to use for this. So I just used a marker lid. So then I'm going to throw these in the oven. The package says 275 for 30 minutes per one quarter inch of thickness. These are thin. They're probably about an eighth. So I'm going to do like 10 or 15 minutes and then bring them back to assemble. Okay, this has baked and cooled off. So now we can put it all together. And all you'll need, we'll start with this one. All you'll need is an alligator clip and some super glue. Just put a little bit of glue on here. Stick it on. And after the clay bakes, it shouldn't be totally rigid. You can see that this still is able to curve to the shape of the barrette. I can show you a little bit on this, but it is still a little bit bendy and that is good. You want it to still be a little bit pliable. So then you have that one ready. Now with these ones, all you're gonna do is put a dot of glue in the middle. I like to have the yellow part stand up like three dimensionally on this, which is why I'm gluing it. You could add the yellow to the top of the blue before you bake it and have it stick that way. But I like it having, I like having it pop out. So then we'll take our clip and then do a little glue on each side like this. Hold those for a second, depending on how quickly your glue dries. I'm gonna do a little bit of glue there, and there, and I'm gonna set this one right on top, just like that. And then you have your two clips. Aren't they so cute? So, on some of these other ones that I made, you can see that this one has a glossy sheen to it. These ones are matte. All I did was take an acrylic sealer spray and spray it over it. Spraying it with a gloss will help hide a lot of those imperfections, but I love it both ways. I think it is so fun. They're so easy to make, come together so quickly, and you will love making them. If you liked this project, you can see more like it right here and by subscribing to our channel. We will see you next week.